Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can create custom water mesh or custom pools for a GTA 5. So let's just hop on into our blender. I'm just gonna delete all the default props and I'm gonna add a new cube. And let's just give it a shape of a pool. So you can just scale it on X and Y axis. and maybe a little bit more on z-axis and now we can just duplicate the cube move it up a little bit scale it down and now to give this big cube the shape of the pool we can do is go to our modifiers panel add modifier and we can select boolean and now with the eyedropper we can select the smaller cube go on apply and now we can just delete the smaller cube and now we have our pool so let's just rename it to custom underscore pool and now we can just give it a shader to it so before giving it a shader let's just talk about how the how the water mesh works in the game so you need static collision for the water mesh to interact with it and to perform the physics actions like to swim or to have a bullet collision or the weapon collision so we need to make a static collision and not an embedded collision and also we need to create a water mesh shader for a water so what we are going to do is select our cube or select a custom pool go back to edit mode make sure we are in face selection mode select the bottom face and then we can just duplicate it using shift D and move it up on Z axis. So we can just keep a little bit margin from the top. And now we can just give this plane the shader of water and the rest of the cube the shader of let's say brick. So let's just create a default texture first and we can say it as brick. I'm just gonna go to the shader tab and we can use the brick texture. I'm not gonna UV unwrap it but if you want to you can. And now to give this mesh a water shader we're just gonna go to our drawable tools, create shader and if we just click this small arrow over here and search for water, we can select water pool ENV and click on create shader material. And now if we just again select the cube and go back to our edit mode. Make sure the face is selected and select the water pool ENV shader and click on assign. So now we have our water mesh and our external pool mesh. Now we can just duplicate it and create our static collision. So if you just shift D and right click, there will be a prop placed at the same position. So we can just rename it pool underscore call. So this is going to be our collision, we're just gonna hide it for now and now we can just create our pool to a drawable. Just go to create drawable objects and click the create drawable. And now we have a prop for our game. And now to create a Y type for the prop, what we can do is press N, go to the archetype definition, click on create archetype and rename it to let's say custom pool and now just select our custom pool and click on auto create and we can just embed our textures so what we can do is just select our mesh and click on and click on set all textures embedded under the create shader panel so just select the default shader and click on set all textures embedded and now we can just delete the arc type again select it and click auto create so now we have our texture dictionary set as the prop name and for the physics dictionary we're just gonna give it a temporary name for now so we have our collision name as custom pool call so we can just paste it right over here and now we can just select the export y type and I'm just gonna place it right over here 
in our Solums Water Tutorial folder. Just export. Now, before exporting the model, let's talk about it a little bit. So, if we just select our water pool ENV shader and select the Solums panel, and if we just go to our values parameter, we have few values which we can tweak. So, let's say fog color and specular fall off and specular intensity and the ripple scale like how much the ripples will be generated in the water mesh and ripple and the ripple bumpiness so we can just configure that i'm just gonna leave it at default values to show how the default water looks but you can obviously go ahead and tweak it out so i'm just gonna select our custom pool select hierarchy and we're just gonna export it Select our Solums Water Tutorial folder. Disable the Use Parent Transform. Click on Selected Objects and click on Export Code Walker XML. And now, if we go over here, we have our Y type and our YDR. So we can just open our RPF Explorer, go to Mods, Updates, X64, DLC Packs, and I'm gonna place it in my Add on Props DLC. I'm just gonna go ahead and Enable the edit mode first and just drag and drop all these files over here. So this is our custom pool. As you can see the game has already generated the water mesh. We don't need to assign it a texture from ourselves. And this is our Y type. So what we can do is let's just place the prop in the game where we want it to be. So let's just launch our code walker. Enable toolbar, enable our DLC, it's add on props for me. And once our DLC is loaded, let's go to some nice location where we can place our pool. So let's say right over here in the Legion Square. So just create a new Y map, select the Y map, go to Y map. Click on new entity and a prop name was custom pool. So just in the R type, you can just write custom pool. You can just use the move tool to place it on ground. And you can just rotate it a little bit. And this should be fine. Go back to our project window, select the Y map, click on calculate all flags and calculate all extents. And then we can just save the Y map. I already have my stream folder ready, so I'm just gonna save it right over here. Go to tools, manifest generator, generate and save manifest. Click on save. And now what we can do is open up our stream folder and now we can import our Y map in our blender so we can create static collision for it so if we just drag and drop our Y map in our RPF explorer like this and then we can just right click export XML and I'm just gonna export it right over here save and now we can just open our solums panel select general tools Go to Y map tools and import Y map. Go to our Solums folder and select our Y map file. Click on import, and as you can see, our prop has been placed right over here. So it's far away from the origin. If you want to see the exact codes, we can just press N and go to items. So these are our codes for our prop placement and right at these codes we want to place our static collision so if we just unhide our static collision mesh and go back to a static collision we want to convert this mesh into a collision mesh so we can just go back to our solims tool go to the collision tool click on create bounds and click create bound so this is our collision so let's just delete the shader for now 
the mesh shader and now we can just create collision materials so for the bricks we can just search up a brick collision material and for the water mesh we can just search for water and add the water collision material now what we want to do is we don't want to assign the water texture right over here we want to separate the water mesh because we are going to apply different flags for the water mesh and different flags for the exterior of a pool so if we just go back to our edit mode select our face the water face right click go to separate and click selection exit the edit mode and now if we see we have our water mesh separate from our collision mesh or the exterior mesh so we can just revert our movement and now if we look at our scene here is our water mesh so i'm just gonna rename it to water and rename this one to let's say brick so now we want to separate our water mesh from this bbh so what we can do is just go back to our collision tool select create bounds and while selecting the bound poly mesh water we're just gonna click the create bounds so this is our bound poly mesh water open it and now while selecting the geometry bbh shift click and drag it into the custom pool collision so now we have our separate water collision mesh with its own bbh and the brick mesh with its own bbh we can just delete this extra bound poly mesh so just right click and delete we can just hide our panel and now we can just select our mesh remove the brick texture from it so now the mesh has only the water texture and if we just select our mesh we can remove our water texture from it now we want to apply flags for it so first of all let's apply flags for a water mesh now please follow carefully because if we just mess up the flags it's not gonna work in game so if you are under the materials panel go to the solemns go to the collision flags and make sure the water shader is selected the water collision material and just click on see through and click on shoot through fx and then select our water mesh bbh i'm just gonna rename it to water so bound geometry bbh water go to the object properties panel go to solemns and we can just set the inertia to one and the volume to one for our collision flags under the composite flag one we only want to tick mark the map river under the composite flag 2 we want to tick mark our test vehicle wheel test weapon test camera test ai and test script and with the shape we can set the margin to 0 0.005 now we can just minimize the water bvh coming back to our mesh the brick mesh we don't want to do anything with it for our brick bbh we can just apply the default flags for it just open the solemns panel go to flags preset and click on apply flags preset now we want to place this mesh this whole mesh at the custom pool location so if we just press n go to items we see the custom pool location of the world where which we place our model so we can just select our custom pool collision and set the same chords as our drawable model so we can just straight copy paste so custom pool select the x-axis select the collision and paste the x-axis select our custom pool copy the y-axis location select our custom pool paste the y-axis location and then we can just copy our z axis location for custom pool select our custom pool collision and paste the z axis 
similarly we can copy the rotation if there are any rotations so over here we have a z rotation as 55 so we can just copy it till it collision and paste the z axis rotation as 45 and now while selecting this uh, the collision and if you press period on a numpad we teleport to our location and now if we just hide our mesh we see that our collision is exactly at the same place but now you see that the collision is at this location but we want to keep the collision the main parent at 0 0 0 so just select our collision right click select hierarchy and in our viewport press ctrl a and select all transforms and now if you see that everything has changed to zero so everything should be at zero instead of a random code for our collision mesh so our main hierarchy is at zero our brick bvh is at zero our brick mesh is at zero our water bvh is at zero and our water mesh is at zero and now everything should be fine now we can simply just select our collision right click select hierarchy go to files click on export and select code bokeh xml and we can just export it and make sure you have disabled the parent transform option over here now we can just import our collision so this is our custom pool collision dot ybn just drag and drop it over here in the rpf explorer and if you just view it we have our collision right over here and now we can just put all of this in our stream folder so let's just go to our stream folder select the pool by dr pool by type and pool collision drag and drop it right over here and then we can just start a server start 5m ensure our water ensure our water test resource and then we can just join a server and test it if we just teleport to let's say right over here at our legion square the pool should be right around here so as you can see the water is visible let's test our collisions So our exterior collision works fine. Let's give us some weapons. And if we just move up a little bit. Equip our weapon. And if you just shoot, you can see that there is a water effect of shooting like you would see in a river or let's say any pool. You can just try to swim right now. And as you can see, we can swim and dive as well. So everything works fine. We can also try to, let's say, use water vehicles in it. So let's just spawn a vehicle. Vehicle spawner. Boats. And we can just use some other vehicle maybe. So as you can see the water vehicles also work fine like this you can create the water or the water mesh or any water pool at any location you want it should mostly work fine for most of the locations but there might be few locations or interior instances where it might not work so you can use water pods for that so that's it for this tutorial hope you liked it hope it helped you and i'll see you next time